focus family thank you again so much for joining me if it's your first time make some noise you already know what time it is so the time is flying by we are officially days away from christmas i just left walmart y'all it has been a blur the last few days it has just been so much stuff happening but we are getting through i don't know what today is yeah, I have no clue what Vlogmas Day today is. But what I do know is that I just found this awesome Canada Dry Black Cherry Wish Wishinick. I don't know, but it looked like it was interesting. So I decided to try it. And I decided to try it with you all. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this is really good. People are walking by looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to you guys, but they don't know that we're friends and family. And that's what we do around here. So let's see oh this is good canada dry has stepped their game up they have so many different drinks they just came out with a pineapple flavor if y'all have not tried pineapple canada dry please go try it i never go to walmart but when i do i always look to see what new fancy little drinks they have because i don't drink much sodas but baby when i do it's going to be something different that i just found at walmart so this is one new thing that i got from walmart and let's see the other thing I told y'all I'm addicted. I really, really have a problem. I hope that they have some type of like um, therapy group for me because new nails. I'm gonna pray about this because it is officially a problem, like for real, a problem. But y'all, these were so cute. Hope that you can see them pretty well. Just the black tips. And once again, I would really pay six dollars for some press on nails that'll last me two to three weeks might have to reapply one or two then to pay these freaking car note payment prices to get my nails done i refuse i absolutely refuse this is the other pair i said these are going to be awesome for the summertime they have the little neon green tips i think they are so cute but let me tell you all i did really really good because i actually had a total of five pairs of fingernails in my basket I have a problem but I only purchased two so that's a good thing so my problem may not be as bad as I think it is not as bad it's bad it's bad all right so we have to run to the mall yes I am that person going to the mall days before Christmas because I don't know where December went to but bam before i knew it it was the last week of christmas and here we are we're going to the mall the last week of christmas there's nothing i can do about it so i will see you guys soon hey faithful focus family so we just left the mall i do believe that i am officially officially done with all my christmas shopping so i have my soon-to-be in-laws gift sister-in-law my brothers, my mom. I think everybody's gift I already have. So, about to head home. Actually, I'm kind of not in the mood to head home. So, I'm going to see who's free. Because I'm kind of in one of those, like, I need to be around some good energy type of a mood. So, I might call and see if... Eb is available. Go hang out with her. Harass her for a little bit at home. And then we'll just see where the rest of the day takes us. So, yeah. What up, good peeps? So, we are back. I think when you guys last saw me, I was leaving the mall. And I mentioned I was not ready to go in the house. So, I decided to just sit in the car. And eat my auntie ants because every time I go to the mall, I have to absolutely have to get something from Auntie Ann's every time I go to the mall. So the last time I went to the mall, Sean got the um pizza pretzel and it was so good. He got the cheese on it. 
So I got it today only because the pretzel dog was not available. But whatever. But I just wanted to hop on here and chat with you guys. And just talk. I think earlier I had mentioned that I just needed to be around some good energy. So I haven't been to a doctor or any type of counselor or anything. But I'm pretty sure that I suffer from depression. And this time of year is a difficult year for me because last year, um, I think I made a video about it, but I lost my dad around this time of year last year. So, you know, this time, this time of year, this is, this is our first year without him. So, you know, all those feelings just come up and there's nothing you can do. And I'm not supposed to be eating this, but I'm also an emotional eater. So I'm going to eat my pretzel dog or my pizza pretzel and feel good about it. Only temporarily because by tomorrow I can hear me telling myself already, why would you eat that pizza pretzel? You're so fat. I'm really going to regret regret this later. And I know this. But I'm still going to do it anyways. So, I definitely do not condone being an emotional eater. Even though I still do it myself. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. Ain't that what your parents used to tell you? <laughs> I always hated that. My uncle asked me a question the other day. And I was like... Because I said so, like, the the reason is no, because I said so. He was like, well, why did you say so? Like, who put you in charge? Me, because I said so. I used to hate when my parents did that. But now I'm an adult, and I'm like, that totally makes sense to me, because I said so. Uh, to anyone who has lost someone the last year, this year, Excuse me, guys. But real talk, if anyone has lost anyone in the past year or even prior to this, because a lot of people tend to get like seasonal depression because of the change of weather. It gets dark early. A lot of people actually suffer from seasonal depression. My mom and I were having a conversation about this right before... Um, it was like officially winter so maybe about three weeks ago and she was saying like how she had prior to my dad passing how she had already suffered from seasonal depression because when you go to work it's dark when you get off from work and go home it's dark you kind of don't feel like doing anything you're just not in the best of spirits or whatever and we were talking about how we can like work through that or whatnot and it's, I know for me, I'm one of those people that I just tend to, like, suffer in silence, which is probably not the best thing. Actually, I know it's not the best thing, but I do it anyways, only because I know that I can usually gather myself back together and then continue on with my day so that I can be productive because... If I sit and, of course, like anybody let those feelings fester, I'm not productive. I, I don't do very well at work and I don't do um, very well very well just in life. So I don't know if I ever told you this. So last year when my dad passed away, I started like totally sucking at my job. Partly because I had already hated that job anyways. But when I tell y'all... I had to keep on working even in the midst of like dealing with all of that. I literally was, I took my, I think I had two or three bereavement days. And do you know my job was still calling me to do work while I was out on bereavement? It's stupid me because I was actually doing the on work and I really should have just had the balls to be like, no, I'm not doing it because I'm out. I'm not at work right now. I'm totally off duty, but I still did it anyways because at the time, my department was really, really small. 
And I was kind of the only person that knew my job function, even though I had been complaining and telling managers for years that we needed to cross train. But that's neither here nor there. That's a story for a whole nother day. But when I was out on bereavement, I was still working. And in 2019, my grandmother had passed away in October. And do you guys know that right after her funeral, I literally had to still do work? I mean, on my laptop, do work because, again, I'm the only person that can do my job function. So I think this year was the first year that I really had a chance to like reflect and think about everything that was going on, especially seeing because this is our first, you know, Thanksgiving, first Christmas, first New Year's without both my dad and my grandma. I think this year it really hit me because it's it's the first everything for us. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on with me over here. I feel like I'm about to lose it at any given second. But I know I'm going to be alright. And I'm just going to sit here and eat the rest of my pizza pretzel because it, it's amazing. It's cold now, but it's still amazing. Oh. But do as I say, not as I do. Talk to people. Be around people that have good energy. Remember to think about all of the good times. And yeah. On that note, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to finish eating my pretzel dog. I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to grab a few last minute gifts. Like I said, I'm going to go to Ebb's house to go um, finish wrapping everything, putting everything in gift bags, all of that good stuff. And then I'm done with all my Christmas um, shopping and all of that stuff. So, yes, with that being said, remember to be you. That is your superpower, and I will see you in tomorrow. Merry Christmas.